What's up, YouTube channel? I have not been recording in a long time, but people have been sending it in my inbox. They said, are you going to do a Love & Hip Hop review? Now, it's a lot of people that do reviews. I really don't like doing reviews, but I'm going to do one today. So, what I feel about the reunion is, I feel like, you know, <sighs> it's a lot. So, we're going to get into it. <clears throat> First of all, I do not like how Little Fizz and April, you know, played this or displayed this so-called relationship they had. I mean, it just feels to me like they're just reaching. I mean, if y'all so in love, why don't y'all keep that off TV? I feel like Fizz is kind of dried out. She is dried out. So she looking for something. He looking for something. So why not make a storyline at all Marion in it? And then once he... You know, once we get the bag, you know what I'm saying, everybody's good. And that's okay, but I mean, at what cost is fame going to cost you? I mean, eventually, y'all going to have to, you know, come to realization that is this going to be for fame or do we really like each other? Is there some attraction there? You know what I'm saying? They say they love each other, but how long did this love build up? Was you looking at her when she was with Omarion? Was you looking at her, you know, during the time she had the children? I mean, come on, I would like to dig into that. Also, Jay Boog, um, she revealed that I guess he was dating or someone was dating um, uh, Marion's um, family member or they were, you know, he was dating his mother. I don't know. Allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know. I like Jay Boog. I think he a real dude. I think he's trying to be a good friend to Marion, but I also think he ha he's got to be a castmate with Fizz and April. So he's just trying to find a medium. He did sleep with Amaya Mama. That's something because she couldn't. Amaya Mama was talking about April from day one. She did not like her. So if you slept with J Bug Mama or Amaya, you is bogus. Anyhow, moving on. I like how Zell had Monique's back. You know, mental health is real. I love uh, Paris and Zell Swag's uh, relationship. I think that they are very solid on and off camera. I have seen their Instagrams, and they both are uh, very good people. I like that Zell is coming up, and he is making his own clothing line. Um, I'm going to talk about the trash bag that was on stage with uh, Lyrica and um, A1. Is it the man who wore the nail polish? Yes, I'm going to talk about him. I think that they should get off of Love & Hip Hop. Like, at what cost are you willing to go for a bag for your reputation. I mean, y'all just tarnishing y'all relationship. And I want to say to their mothers, when are y'all going to stop the ghetto man? It's like, uh, I don't know if that's A1 mom, the dark skinned lady. She had on a black dress. She was sitting with her legs wide open. Like, I understand you old and your knees might hurt or whatever because she has a bigger stomach. You know what I'm saying? I can coincide with that because she's plus size. But even I don't sit like that in a dress. She was just very, you know, she was giving me ghetto tees, you know, it just wasn't very, it was classless. I didn't like that. And A1 got all this money. You know, he needs to help his mama get a better weave and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And that fake ass diamond belt, it was not working for me. She was giving me very much fake mama ghetto. I don't know. Whatever she wanted to presume to be. Um, I also want to talk about um, the T.S. Madison show with Tokyo Tony. I love Tokyo Tony. I think that she is real. Um, I like the fact that she didn't try to uh, talk about uh, Black China too well, but I like the fact that she bought the tea about the Kardashians and how fake they were and how Kim was a weirdo. She also said that Chloe was a real one and she also knew some tea about OJ and Chris sleeping together, how she was sleeping with all these men just like her daughters do and, you know, how uh, she hates that her granddaughter is associated with the name Kardashian. I mean, she really gave us good-ass content and she gave us the tea. So I think that Tia should bring her back. Um, I definitely think that it was she went out with a bang for that show. I also would like to talk about, um, you know, um, I also would like to talk about um, the behind the scenes and cracking the code case. Um, Tokyo Tony also stated that she was a stripper just like Black China. So, you know, she raised her baby um, at 16 and she got pregnant, you know, with a guy and, you know, she was courting him. And so we got a little history about Tokyo Tony and Black China. That was very good because we never knew where they came from or how Black China came to. You know, we just always see them arguing and she really gave her daughter some good feedback. And, you know, what I'm saying she said that her daughter is very smart and Tokyo Tony seems to be very, very smart. I hope that this year, you know, it brings her plenty of bags, plenty for you feel me, because I'm so for the underdog. And um, we as black people don't support our people enough. I feel like Tokyo Tony don't have enough back in her. So 
Um, I want to say to her show, um, I do like the show, but I feel like it could have been more about her life instead of a dating theme because Tokyo Tony says she's sexually fluent. She likes women and men. So I really dig um, the show because I like Tokyo Tony and she's very entertaining, but I would like to see her more in her own light, like how she hustled, how she came to be a stripper, you know, uh, who was her baby father if she's willing to give that information, you know, uh, does Black China have a relationship with her dad or is he out the picture since birth, you know, that sort of thing, you know, we want to dig into the history a little bit more, so if she can bring me some of that, that would be good, um, I hope to see Tokyo Tony appear on something, I don't care what kind of show it is, but I want to know more about her. You know what I'm saying? And less about Black China because we already know where Black China came from. You know, we all know the Tigger and Tiger situation with the Jenners and the Kardashians. We already know that. We want to talk about something different. We want to dig into their history because that's how they got the foundation to come up to where they are now as stars. And I like the fact that Tokyo Tony is so um, humble that she also, you know, is saying that she don't believe she's a star. Which she is a star because her daughter, you know, uh, association with the Kardashians and her granddaughter and Tyga's son being in the spotlight. And she also stated that Black China should have been had her granddaughter on a campaign or she should have had her own clothing line. See, I like you, Tokyo Tony girl. You need to let me get an exclusive on you, baby, because... I feel you. I feel like Black China should be promoting her daughter. She should have a Gucci ad or something, you know what I'm saying, to promote her, you know, little innocence because she is part of Kardashians. I mean, if you was going to get the bag and try to sleep with their brother, you should at least, you know what I'm saying, go grab that bag and get your daughter some of that money and get your own um, name out there for yourself. You feel me? That's a way to get back as well, you know. Um, I feel like she um, is hurting because her and Black China, they just can't get it right. And I feel like, you know, they just have to come to a, a better understanding. And sometimes that's hard when you're so much alike with a mother and daughter. Um, I want to say about, I want to I wanna go back to uh, Monice. I'm sorry about that. I want to go back to uh, Monice. I want to say, Monice, mental health is real. And I hope you get all the help you can get. I hate that Little Fizz is playing out this relationship with you and april and it's like he's just willing to do anything just to keep her and to keep her saying i feel like april you did play a trashy game at first april i want to like you because you seem like the girl next door like the pretty girl next door who don't believe she's pretty i want to like you but every time i try to like you girl you do something fucked up and you know you fucked up the deal with jason lee you could have been out there you know what i'm saying getting your bag just like our mariana getting him back like that but instead you want to get on this love and hip-hop shit and thinking it's going to help your career. But really, I just feel like you open Pandora's box and it's like, boom, in your face. So, you know, I want to hear more about, you know what I'm saying, your relationship in the beginning with Omarion. Let's hear some good stuff instead of hearing all the negative things because that's not working for you, boo. And talking about how you give me your pussy out all the time and it's okay to do that, I mean, boo-boo. Like, goes back to saying you were cuter when you shut your mouth you know what i'm saying you do a little bit too much talking you feel what i'm saying i just feel like you know don't play with nobody's mental health you know y'all trying to belittle my niece and saying you're not going to keep your son little fizz for the weekend so she can get her a breather like what kind of dad are you in the beginning you don't even want my niece to deal with your son now you trying to flip it and say this is your weekend this is your week why does it matter it shouldn't matter how many x amount of days she should get her son. If she need a break, she need a break. And you should be there for her and stand in the gap. And that's just period. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's my take on those things, you guys. Um, by being a Christmas holiday, I did just want to record something because people are asking me, you know, to record the Love and Hip Hop review. So I wanted to do that. I want to talk a little bit about Tokyo Tony and T.S. Madison. I talked about the Tokyo Tony um, show with her dating show on Zeus which I'm very proud of, but I want to dig into more of her background, like I said. And that's all for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, you guys enjoy your holiday, Happy New Year's. I might try to record a video Saturday night. If not, I will try to do one Sunday before the New Year's to wish everybody a Happy New Year's and have a happy, safe holiday. Y'all be good to each other and love each other. Remember, God wants us to practice um, empathy with each other, okay? So y'all like, subscribe, and comment, share. You know what I'm saying? Share this live like y'all. Share y'all man like Cortez be saying on um, Bingo. Share the live like you share your man. You know, I'm just playing. But y'all do that. And y'all just show your girl some love because a girl is trying to get on here and hustle on the YouTube streets, you know? And I'm doing my research. So if y'all got any comments or, 
you know, if y'all got any suggestions for me for any videos y'all want me to do, send me that tea, girl, so I can talk about it, baby. And I'm going to keep doing my research. And, you know, I might try to record one more video um, tonight. If so, y'all hit me up. And like I said, let me know, girl, for my subscribers. Let me know what y'all want to talk about. I'm married. I can talk about anything y'all want to as far as that. I can talk about any experience y'all want me to talk about. Anything. So y'all just hit me up and let's turn off. Peace.